What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. If it's your first time joining the show, welcome to the show. Got a good one for you today, and also great news. I'm adding shows on tour. So excited. So, so excited. Come see your boy, Charlotte, Pecola. That's in Oklahoma, by the way. Waukee, Iowa, Omaha, Nebraska, Kansas City, Mo, Cleveland, Elizabeth, Indiana, St. Louis, Grand Rapids, Detroit, Nolan, San Antonio, Chicago, my home, uh, Durham, uh, North Carolina, Atlanta, Charleston, Philly, New York, Phoenix, San Francisco. We added another show in San Francisco. San Diego, we're going to add another show in San Diego very soon. Um, and uh, Boston, we've already added uh, uh, two more shows. Minneapolis, we're adding another show. Having a lot of fun. Go to andrewsantino.com for those tickets. andrewsantino.com. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like that. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It is Jordan Jensen. Jordan Jensen from the popular podcast Being Jordan with Ian. That's me. I have another podcast out now. What's it called? R.I.P. Jordan Jensen. R.I.P. Jordan Jensen. Please I just go. had Heather the Heat Hardy on. Whoa. You know who she is? I don't. World champion boxer. Oh, I want to really. look her. I want to look her up. Heather Hardy. Really interesting. Is she tough? Is she strong? She's so tough. She got brain damage because of Louis C.K. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> what? No, it's not really because of it. It's so funny. But he gave he helped supported her financially through to this fight and then she fucked her brain up in this fight. Whoa, but that's you're being serious. I'm being serious. So he was like funding her fighting. He 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 gave her money so she could train to this Yeah, because he was like trained with her and Whoa. I was like, "Okay. She's jacked." And the, the pictures She's of her incredible. with her face beaten and her, it's crazy. They're crazy. It's it really good work so with her because I'm a pussy. And she'll be like, punch me in the fucking face. You punch her hard? No. I did just punch you... Jason Ellis. I trained with him today and he let me punch him in the face. It was super intense. Did it feel good? It felt good, but it also made me realize what a, I, I have all, I'm all bark. Dude, no the other bites. day I was punching a guy's window and spit at his window because he almost hit Coyote. Huh. And I, I'll do that, but the second somebody gets out and they're like, let's go, I'm like, yeah! But why don't you tell the story? What happened? He, someone almost hit your dog. Oh, my I, God. People can't see Coyote's off camera right now. Sniffing. They know who she is. Everybody knows her. Sniffing. She's gotten recognized when, before I have. At the Can park. we take a picture with your dog? Yeah. So, that's so funny at the airport. Jordan, we take a picture like with your dog? I like that. At meet and greets, are always like, can we take one with Coyote? And I'm like, if you, if you love dogs, you know that me lifting and lowering this dog, she hates that guy. See, that's interesting. Yeah, she does hate McCone so much because McCone is a cop. You know what's funny? Do you, what, is it bad to pick up your dog and do that thing? Just over and over? Yeah, they don't like that shit. I love it. You like it being picked up and put down? I pick pictures? her up and I snuggle with her. No, 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 not pictures, but I just pick her up all day and I snuggle with her. I walk around with her. I do. I yeah. torture her. I terrorize her. But they don't like it? But it's not bad Strangers. for Strangers. Is it? No, she's, look at her. She's an independent bitch. You know why she's doing that? Because she loves it. No, seriously, right now, because she smells. Aaron Belial had his dog in here two days ago, or yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah, and and his dog was rolling around. So that's a look. See, she's smelling she can smell him. She's this is a dog it. this is a dog friendly this is zone. Dog friendly, dog friendly See, zone. So I there's meet, another you, studio in here where you film bad friends. Bad friends, yeah. We film them both from here. We get a discount because we're right above that Chinese restaurant below us downstairs. Which one do you like doing more? Which Answer podcast? The question. I don't like doing any of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like doing podcasts when it's with a friend. This is so nice because I get to like See people I haven't seen in a As long time. To Bobby, I, he's not really a friend. Yeah, That's yeah. more of a business associate. Mm -hmm. um, but this is nice because I get to see people I don't see. I haven't seen you since I was in your house in New York. You weren't at my house. Yes, I was. No, well, that's his house. It, how dare you? Don't you guys live together? You, you and Ian live together, don't you guys live together? Andrew, you're a couple, aren't you? Listen to me. How I often did the internet you say so you guys much. were a couple? Huh? How often did the internet tag at the beginning that you guys were a couple? Do they always say that? They said they always say that we will end up together, which is painful. no chance. Literally no, no chance. chance. No chance. No, I don't live in that. I have a very cute studio in Park Slope. He lives there. He lives in the ghetto. He lives there. In the ghetto. He lives across the street from a Puerto Rican soccer team. Yeah, we got a. <laughs> we went to go get a smoothie near his house, and uh, one guy was. Uh, Eating a shoelace. There was a man just eating a shoelace. Yeah. 
for protein. Yeah, and I thought, the bodega cat in that bodega we have to talk about has its own like bodega, like it's its own. It's its own little side bodega. Yeah, that's kind of cool though. Yeah. Um, how are you? How much are you hating LA? Welcome, welcome back to LA. You hate I it? have to tell you, I like LA. I do Come because on. I can I can box, which mm. I like doing, and I can right. and and I can eat healthily. It's so much easier to do that here. You can box and you can eat healthy, but you can't eat box. Although I can. Yeah, you can. And Ismail last it, Ismail Lutfi, he was like, you can't. We, you know him. You Who know the fuck thing? is that? Oh, he's a very funny comic. Ismail Lutfi, but he's in it's Ismail Lutfi. You made it sound like he was a boxing guy. No, he's a comic. He's great. Look him up. Well, I'm gonna look him up. I want to know who but this man he is. Was, he pointed out to me that you can't do, you can't run outside and get butter at your late night thing, and I realized it's game over. Also, you guys have don't have a good hang. No, you we don't do. Have late night hang. We do, but everyone's out of town. Where do you hang at the bar at the store? Uh, no, never. That's insane. Where? Uh, there is a uh, there's a little broom closet that I'll go sit around in by myself for a while until somebody knocks and comes yeah. by. I'll hang. Where do I hang? Do I hang? You don't, you don't. hang. I don't you go hang. home. You're right. I go home. You guys, yeah, you all. We no. A lot of times, guys like Fahim and I will go out to go get food at like Swingers or we'll I'm go to a diner. Not food. I'm saying sitting, talking. Not a real thing. Why am I doing that? I got to go home. You. We did it at the cellar. You really enjoyed yourself. Yeah, because I like the cellar a lot. Yeah. And I like you guys. It's my friends are there. Yeah. But at the store, everyone's got an agenda. We got to come in and we got to do a spot and we got to go home. If we're gonna hang, that's the other thing. The cellar has food. Yeah, good so, food. Yeah, that's my point. We don't have food at the store. We They have pizza and peanuts. But I don't think I could do without that. I need to do the chicken skewer with the rice. and the I love it. That is, yeah. You know that's why I get every time chicken really? skewer with the rice. You got to do it. And a little bit of hummus for the table. Ch- hummus for the table. Hummus. Hummus for the table. No, I. that's because we don't have good food at the store. That's the problem is we used to hang a little bit by the bar, but now, A, everyone's sober. Yeah. Or B, people are like, I don't really feel like drinking all night. So we'll go to a place to get food. Fahim and I do that mm. often. We'll go eat. Because otherwise, I don't want to sit at the club and just be around the thing and then drinking and people partying. I'd rather go somewhere. I like doing the, the the New York thing is good because it's it makes you not feel crazy for staying up all night. And I'm definitely. Yeah. You're an up all nighter. But here I get here and all of a sudden it's midnight here. It's 3 a.m. in New York. And I'm like, oh, somebody sleepies. Wake up at 10. What are we doing? What My are we life doing? Is going. And it, that does feel better. I like but, to wake up and get the day started. I want to like do I, something. I totally do too, but it just is. It feels like you reset in New York. It's a different thing. And I know. Here you feel guilty. Like here, it got to be one a.m. last night, and I was like, I got a big day tomorrow with all these LA fuckers. Yeah. But in New York, it's like one a.m. We got time for a movie and a half. <laughs> Let's go. You know. Let's go watch a film. Yeah. You're you're a big tattooist. Uh, have you gotten any tattoos in LA? This. Uh, you know we have a big tattoo community here. We have good artists out here. Who did I get in LA? I don't think I have one in LA. Get one no. here. Get one now. After They're the show. all over the place, but I will. You want to come? Yeah, I can't. I don't have any. You can't. You're a ginger. It's so crazy. I you can't. cannot. I can't. But I have an ex boyfriend who is a ginger with tattoos, and it's really. Let gross. me guess. It's like a Celtic cross or something, yes. or his family's name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah. Celtic cross right here. Always. Yeah. Wow. That's every redhead has a Celtic cross or like their family's name or like a piece of Ireland or something. I'm always like. No, your skin's too tender. <laughs> Don't hurt my skin. No, you can't. This is so embarrassing too. I put on sunscreen back home in Chicago. It was overcast, yeah. and I was putting on tons of sunscreen. And uh, yeah. one of the guys with me was like, "What are you doing? What is that? Lotion?" I was like, uh, "Sunscreen." He's like. What? I was like, dude, the sun gets through. Just be a cool hat guy. I don't, but I can't wear like a, you know, the safari hats. Yeah. I, what am I? I can't do that. What That's about what a cowboy you have. hat. Cowboy hats are not for me. All right. It's just, what would I look like with a cowboy hat? You look like I think you'd look like a hot ginger cowboy. Somebody Photoshop a picture of me with a cowboy hat right now. I think it'd be hot actually. I think so. Mm, that's not a my. Good there, one? There's a dude. You know Bruce Gray, the comic. You know him? No. He started going his cowboy era. He's wearing cowboy boots. He's got a big belt buckle. But I like it. It fits his personality. I'm not saying go full hipster. I have to. No. Just one cowboy hat with your nice little, with a little fucking suit. What are we doing But look here? at my, my wardrobe. Well, first of all, we wear the same clothes. We're wearing the same clothes. But this is my, this is my suit. Is a shirt, t-shirt, jeans, and sneaks. This okay. is who I've always been. I can't. You can't. Like, you know, there was a show. I did a corporate gig, and they were like, um, do you have a suit? Could you wear a suit? And I was like, I have a suit, but I'm not going to wear a suit. I'll wear like yeah. a, I'll dress up. Mm-hmm. I'll wear like business cash. And they were like, we'd prefer a suit. I was like, I just don't wear a suit. I don't look good in a suit doing comedy. Some people can get away with it. Really? I would think of all people you would. 
No, but it just it doesn't fit my personality. Yeah, that's like you true. know who's good at it? Um, I would Nor- say Sam Morrell. Morrell. Yeah. Is probably the best. I'd go. Yep, he could do that, and no one would know the difference. Yeah, Norman can't get away with it. No way. The Stefano, no chance. The Stefano could do a pink suit, and you know it. It'd be funny, <laughs> right? It'd be a bit. Right. He could do a gay suit, a pale blue suit. <laughs> right. He could do I uh, powder blue, a little powder blue suit on him. I have. I mean, Hulu said to me basically, they said we want a more feminine person. They were like, we love your hour, but we want you to be more feminine. What's that mean? What does that mean? Like they wanted somebody with a they. Show some show some stems. They want me to, yeah. They want somebody who isn't a bro. But when we did a Toronto show, weren't you wearing? You were showing your legs during that show. Never. I've You've never. never had your legs out on stage. No. Do you want to see them? Look at this. Look how it's. I've worked really hard on. Yeah. This. Let me see. Ah! Can you imagine? Whoa, strong and clean. Furry. Oh, you show. Oh, you like to keep the fur. Yeah. What's that? You don't. But it doesn't even look like any hair. I know. You, you don't have dark hair. No. <laughs> it's so downy. When is the last time you shaved? Oh, a year? What about your pits? My pits don't really grow on Bredere. That's the most I get. Well, there's nothing there. There's a couple. So These wait. are tattooed on. My eyebrows are tattooed on. I have very light. My pubic hair is sparse like a cancer patient. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's my pubic hair. <laughs> wait, your leg, you haven't shaved your legs in a year, and is this going to be forever? Never again. You're over it. I think I'm over it. I mean, sometimes it's nice. It depends. I when I'm when I just got out of a relationship with a guy who hated me, so I would shave a lot. Thank you so much. So I would uh, shave and try and do everything. But now that I'm not in that, I'm like, fuck it. Who cares? But do you like so? so I like it because I think it's soft and peachy. It is soft, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but you also don't really get hair, so it doesn't really count. Yeah. If I when I see women with dark hair, I'm like, you're disgusting. You're a pig. <laughs> dark hair is disgusting. You know what I just learned? When you're anorexic, you grow thick arm hair. Have you seen that? Really. And then, yeah, you grow thick. Black. Just your arm? No, yeah, your body to deal with the temperature. It wants to keep itself warm. Oh. Which, also, if you release a pet pig out into the wild, it grows thick hair and tusks. So, and girls are pigs. pigs. Good, pet very pigs. good. Did you ever use Nair? Yes, the smell. My sister used to use that when, oh, we were, when she was little. Rotten egg smell. Uh, the smell yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah. Now, what was that from? The chemical reaction on the skin? No, it smelled like it that in the bottle. Did it, did it smell that way? Yes. Because I remember coming it's home ammonia, sometimes, and then my mom, my mom would be like, "Be nice. Do not say anything mean." Okay. How amazing is that substance, though? It's. I mean, how does it do that? And how, how does it? Because I it remember being like, "No way," and putting it on and being like gagging at the sulfur smell, <laughs> and then wiping it and being like, "Now that's a product." <laughs> like it was like it yeah. worked. It was they crazy. just couldn't get the smell chemical right. Otherwise, it would have keeps. It would have kept selling. We had problem with me shaving growing up because one, I have lesbian mothers and they were against it. But I also have the thing where like, if there's a knife there, I'm like, what mm-hmm. if I? What if I? T- you <laughs> know. Your moms were both like, don't shave. My mom was is like my mom has a faux hawk for pubic hair. Really? Naturally, a faux hawk. That's tight. <laughs> yeah. That is tight. Are these really uh, tattooed on? Yeah. No chance. They look so good. Yeah, they're microbladed. Is what it's called. Without it, it's like blonde. You know. So I mean? funny. I'm so dumb. I thought microblading was a trimming technique. No, that is. You're not that dumb. That's threading. 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 That's what that is. Yeah, threading. That's where they come in with two little pieces of string and they. Doesn't that? But that looks like it'd be more painful than just. Really? I mean, I don't want to do it, but it looks incredible. A little Asian woman doing it. I used to grow a big (laughs) unibrow when I was a young little lad. Oh. And and I would take my dad's uh, razor and I'd just put a razor to the middle of my eyebrows. And then he caught me doing it. He was like, "Don't do that. Your eyebrows are way too far apart. And also, it's my face razor. Get your own fucking razor." Yeah. (laughs) I was like, "I'm too young to have a razor." He's like, "I'll go get you one." But he's like, "You should pluck them. Don't." Don't use a shaver, but I was so embarrassed about hair in the middle that I would shave with my dad's face in right in the middle, so my eyebrows were like yeah, this far apart. You have these little guys. It's so stupid. Yeah. But but as a little boy, you want hair masculine, yeah. Yeah. But not only in only in the perfect places. You want hair yeah. on your legs and under your arms. But if you get hairy here, what's hairy your, backs. What's your chest hair situation? Let barely me guess. any. Barely Small any. Small diamond here. No, there's nothing there. Nothing. I, I have like no hair. Completely gone. I'm um, almost no hair. No, you got the... Oh, yeah, you got a little stripe across. Just not much. That's good. That's ideal, I yeah. think. The back I mean, hair gets crazy. I don't have any. I have no back hair. Women like men with, like, a thick... I hate that. I think it's disgusting. See, if I was gay, I would want a guy with a tuft of chest hair. Because really? I don't have any. I don't think you can say Because I want to feel like a cute little said. twink in the... Th- I what? Should, I don't think you say, if I was gay, I would like that. I think you should say, I like when men have that. Because you are a little gay for saying that. You know what I mean? Like No. 
Don't do this to me. Okay, okay. okay? It's like me being I like, went to if years I were of gay, therapy. If I were gay, I would like, you know, a kind of like butch woman with like a backwards hat and like maybe like a pixie. Like I'm just describing, like I'm not gay, <laughs> but if I, but the one person I would fuck is this. That's what you're saying. <laughs> How about this? When I see guys, uh, when I see gay guys together, um, the kind of couple that I go, oh, those are good Listen looking guys. Listen to you beating around this proverbial bush. How about this? I'm How about not this? gay. How about this? If I had to be gay, if you made me gay. If God forced me to be gay. If I was playing a role where I was gay, it would be easiest for me. I almost did. You know, I almost did. Really? Hey, No, Coyote, coyote chill. Hey, hey, hey. Chill. Don't. Just be just a little protective. That's all that is. Lay down. It's all right, sweetie. Oh, I get it. Oh, my God. Lick the mic. Lick the mic. Lick the that. face. Lick the mic. Um, here's the thing. What I'm trying to say is if I was gay, well, I let your dog's licking the inside of my mouth. I'm like, if I was gay, <laughs> <laughs> no, when I see gay couples, like really like, um, uh, what is it? Like well manicured guys. No. Disgusting. I just, I, even, I would even want, when you guys, can I say this? When you guys buzz your, the top of your pubes a little. Clean? I don't like it. Nobody clean buzz. Do you clean buzz? Not no. clean buzz. No. I mean, even when I can tell that there's been grooming. <laughs> no, no, we have to groom a little bit. No, no, you no. Can, with scissors. Why can't we use a? Because, because I can see that you've done that, and there's something really disturbing about the fact that you're like. Okay, but I have absurd amount all. of. I have a lot of pubic hair. That's okay. That's good. I don't like it. It's too much. It gets. It's, then it's, take it's scissors, much. twist it, and cut it. But you can't be buzzing. Here's why it. scissors are How dangerous. How low do you go? You don't have a penis anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Scissors are so dangerous, right? Though you're. Just, it feels sketchy. It's terrifying. So it with feels the buzzer, I have labia, dude. It's no, scary. The labia is nothing. You pull the hair down. This little skin's showing. Labia is nothing. Do we have everything's out? No, I have an Audi. You're not you have an Audi. Yes, you will cut your penis. No, wow. And that's a fear that your father instills in you as a young man. He says, "Don't cut your penis. Don't cut your penis." You're not gonna cut. Maybe your little ball sack. Yes, I don't want to cut my nuts. So if you take just a little, <laughs> just clean it up a little bit, it's great. <laughs> and by the way, also the the nifkin gets so long sometimes. My oh. grun my grundle hair is absurd. I can't pull it, look, and clip. I have to just take a thing and just let it just slide. Just let it go. I don't like it. You gotta be a wildebeest. No, because when I tuck my legs behind my head, <laughs> right. and I roll when around the house, by yeah. your hairy man. <laughs> <laughs> when I do my thing, when I do my dance, I want to feel. Cl Look, I do know what you mean. Too much manicure is weird, but full bore, full bush, like it just—it's too—it's way too much hair. Okay. Like dads, like remember seeing your dad's bush. When I you love were a kid? dad's bush. Yeah, but that's because you because the daddy thing, blah blah yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah. I just found out about covert incest from Law and Order. Dun dun. Do you know what covert incest is? No. <laughs> I'm trying to make this a bit and I don't know how to do it, but basically I was watching Law and Order uh -huh. and it was like, this woman's all fucked up because she had covert incest. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and it said her father would always talk about sex. My dad did this, talked about sex, asked about sex, gross. had sex gross. near in the room next to me, gross. had photos of sex around, you gross. know what I mean? That's gross. Walked around naked. Disgusting. Right? So, and I was like, oh my God. And it was talking about how this like fucked this girl up, da da da. And I got so like overwhelmed by the fact that I was realizing I had this that I shut the laptop off, immediately jerked off. Immediately jerked off. <laughs> <laughs> how do I make that a bit? That, you know you, what I mean? That's you just did. I'm saying like, it's, I'm, it fucks you up sexually and it fuck yeah. It and makes it, your emotionally It regresses back to what you used to feel. Right. Whoa. So you wanna fuck your dad. He's dead, so I can say that. But yeah, my dad was so hot. He was a hot guy? Oh. Is your mom a hot girl? Yeah, they were both hot bears, grizzly bears. Just big beefers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean your... my dad was just ripped cowboy. What did he do? Carpenter, broke thoroughbred horses. Seriously? Settle, girl. Slow down, Nessie. Mm -hmm. Wait, wh uh, where did he live? Where did he grow up? Cigarettes. Uh, he grew up in Chicago, but then he moved to Lansing outside of Ithaca. Lansing, Michigan. Lansing, New York. New York. The Sticks. Uh, that's way, way out? Way I don't, way I've out. never even heard of that. Yeah. I know where Ithaca is. Yeah. Because of the college. Yeah. That's where Ithaca is. Your dad was a horse tamer in, Nor in upstate New York? He was a contractor, but yeah, he also did that in upstate New York. Oh, he was yeah. a drug addict. He was a weed addict, big time. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that contractors are all on drugs? They have I to be. Know. My mom's a contractor. She's not on drugs. N anymore? <laughs> yeah, now she's a big old dyke. Does your mom listen to your podcast? Yes. Does she? Sometimes. Would she, like, would she listen to this? She doesn't like listening to Ian. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. She might listen. She listened to this because she likes you. I like your mom. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, look. Ian hit me up this morning, by the way. Speaking of which, uh... 
about a car accident. He got in a bad car accident. You don't want to talk about it. He hit you up about the accident today because it happened a while ago. And he's I don't know if we had. No, no, we talked. Milking it. He's been milking, he the has been <laughs> milking it, bro. Every oh, his Wait, arms back it. in the sling. Okay, here he's oh, it's back. He's been slinged up. He slings up. Oh, my brain's weird. You know. He's, and then he said, uh, he said, pain. You know, it's been a it's been a pain, and I and I felt really bad. I said, I'm so sorry about that because I got hit. And then you know what's so funny? I got hit in our neighborhood, and at first the girl was like, total like. You know, yes, totally my fault. It was literally. And then of course, a week or two later, the insurance people were like, Well, how fast were you going? It's like, w- 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 wait a minute. How'd she hit you? She hit me. So in my old neighborhood, there's like a uh, there's like a blind turn and it's a bunch of old apartment co- buildings that are now like office spaces. So like people that have come out of there, they turn quickly on this road. Yeah. It's just like a, it's kind of blind, but if you're paying attention, you would see a fucking car. But I was coming around driving regular speed, and I saw, dude, it's so weird. I've been in a couple accidents. I saw her see me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like a moment in time freezes, and she stepped on the gas instead of the brake. Oh. And smoked the front passenger side of the car, spun us out and everything. But it Who was, was co- in the car? Completely. Me and my old lady. She was in the... She was in the passenger seat, yeah. Oh, is she okay? Yeah, unfortunately. Because it hit the passenger side. It hit the front side. Yeah, it hit, like, the front, the, the, the tire. But the bummer and was... did flip. Oh, really? He flipped a few times. Oh, my God. No, dude. That's way worse. He was fine. It was he was an Audi. It His car him. flipped? Yes, but he was protected uh, by pillows and fluffies. Jordan, he was totally fine. Have you ever been in a flipped car before? No. Neither have I. It must hurt. He, yes. From afar, it looked like it hurts. It's just one of those a things where he first hurts flips me it. Now. He's like, oh, my God, for some reason, I feel great. He's taking pictures. He, and then, like, a couple of days later, he starts being like, eh, eh, eh. You know, and I'm like, all right, you know. You think he's playing it up? He's a milker. He's a milky milker. He's milking the. I do think it really scared him, but the the problem with Ian is he's very sentimental. So if he were like, dude, my head feels fucked up from that accident, I'd be like, yo, let's deal with this right now. But he's like, it starts with like, my dad saved me in this accident, and then I'm immediately Mm. my brain shut down, and I'm like, I'm gonna kill myself, and then he's like, I'm in pain, and I'm like, you already lost me at the sentimentality (laughs) stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I can't. I have to go straight stepdad with him and be like, you need the dolphin. Yeah. Go outside, throw the ball with me for a minute. You'll be fine. Yeah. Wait, whose car? He doesn't have a car. He rented a car. He rented a car and flipped it. Somebody hit him, and he flipped it. What was the car that hit him? SUV. Right after he got hit, I had my friend on the pod who was in a horrible. He's a very funny comedian, Keegan Tyndall, who Great was name. in an accident and entire has entire full body third degree burns all down his body. <laughs> this is right after he flipped it, and I was like, "We're gonna have this guest on." Such a dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Talk about your injuries, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keegan like, Tyndall. Shout yeah. out to Keegan Tyndall. Shout out. He and, rules. And he's got third degree burns all over his body from an yeah. accident. Mm-hmm. Do you have any tragic things that happened when you were a kid, other than all of the? My dad's dead. Mm-hmm. My best friend died. What else happened Yay. as a kid? Lots of stuff as a kid. I used to have type two diabetes, be huge, big fat fatty. That's you traumatic. beat it though. I did beat it with. You I just did. sucked. So a if you lot eat enough, that. it beats diabetes. Yeah, it counter. It's like a. Uh, it's like insulin. That's. Cr- I've never even heard of that. I'm really sorry. No, I don't. I don't. I don't even care at all. I. I are you guys all here? Say hi to the dog, dude. It's a girl, dude. Don't assume. <laughs> Don't assume genders, man. It's really offensive. <laughs> Can't trust Mexicans anymore. Yeah. Used to I be able never. to, huh? Back in the day. Yeah. At Home Depot, pick them up, scoop them up, throw them in the trunk. Yeah, I guess we could build it. Great. I loved <laughs> picking up Mexican day workers at Home Depot. That was my the highlight of my life. You take them to get lunch and then drop them back off? You take them to do a job that, like, you just are like, you guys are the most incredible. Yeah. They move so fast. They live off of Gatorade. They talk shit about Obama. They're just so fun. <laughs> They're so fun. He wasn't good president. I he don't like this. He killed more of us than anybody else. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, Obama. Star- Obama strikes. actually started the wall. Isn't that the isn't that the irony? Yeah. Obama actually did. You know this, right? Mm-hmm. Obama was the first one. Yeah. That's what's so weird. It's crazy. And and Trump got all the credit. Another uh, once again, a white guy stealing a black guy's work all the time. Once Every again, time. another Elvis pulled an Elvis. Another Elvis. That's what we should call Trump. Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> Yet another Elvis. I gotta uh, kill that dog. She's fine. Actually, it was George H.W. Bush. He started the wall. Yeah. Obama in, kept it in moving. In 1993. God bless. Or in, before that. And then in 1993, Bill Clinton oversaw the initial border fence construction. But, so Bill Clinton I was mean, like, I'm but George H.W. started it. Make it higher. Yeah. But Obama, 
Obama. He, I will say Trump didn't say build my wall. He said build the, the wall. The wall, right. It yeah. wasn't his. He didn't want to show ownership of it. Yeah. I get that. I'm fine with a wall. Walls are fine. They're, they, they, should, they should be a proverbial wall. I mean, that wall. We should have. We the should, dome? The Israel dome thing? What is that? That thing's sick. The Israel dome? What's that thing called? Dome of death? What's dome of death, called? yeah. Death dome. What's Aren't it? They, the Thunderdome. The Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? Aren't called? they playing games Superdome. there? No, they're playing sports. The Superdome. It's not a Superdome. Is that what it's called? No, the Metrodome. It's we're just, called we're something. Naming all the domes <laughs> from the sports. dome that literally stops missiles. That thing's <laughs> sick. Yeah, yeah. What is that called? The yeah, dome that stops Israel. like uh, Israel presents. <laughs> called it, the Iron Dome. The Iron, Iron Dome. dome. <laughs> Enter that it if you dare. Awesome. That's, dun, 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 that's dun. the only thing I know about politics is where it becomes like <laughs> Batman, where I'm like, there's a dome, and then they come in paragliding. Um, no more Israel stuff. I told you that. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> we talked about that before the show. The Iron Dome. The Iron Dome. In here. We pour whiskey. This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by BetterHelp. Hey, I've used a therapy for quite a long time now, and I got to tell you, uh, BetterHelp is wonderful. To do something from the comfort of your own home and not have to go to an office and wait and feel uncomfortable and weird and overwhelmed, um, you can do it from the comfort of your couch, your tub, uh, your lawn chair, your driveway, wherever you want. Uh, it's on you. And uh, as we grow older, uh, I think sometimes time gets lost on us and we don't take time to focus on ourselves, And that's a big issue because you're, you're trying to do everything for everybody else, whether it's your spouse or your kids or your friends or your boss or coworkers or your family, your parents, whoever. I think taking time for yourself is very important. And if you're not focusing on you and learning about yourself and growing, you're probably staying stagnant. And that's a big deal. Uh, and I really do enjoy speaking to someone about what's going on in my life. And I think you should try it too. It'll help you get through some tough times, and it'll help you uh, feel good during good times. If you're thinking of starting therapy, why not give BetterHelp a try? It's entirely done online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Fill out a brief questionnaire. There's no wrong answers, okay? You get matched with a licensed therapist. Just switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Pretty great. Rediscover your curiosity with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash whiskey today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, better H-E-L-P dot com slash whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. It'd be so fun to have a penis. Honestly, it's not. Can I tell you? This is my biggest The fun feeling. thing is tucking it. That's fun. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm tucked right now. But it's so fun when... <laughs> this is why I'm straight. Is It's like me, a guy, and then this other guy. This new guy. We're hanging out. Whereas a woman's vagina, it's like... It's them. Their yeah. vagina is them. It's it just is you. us. It's like... It's like in through the vagina, out of the mouth, grabbing the heartbeat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, whereas a penis is like... Should we fuck around with this dude here? You know what I mean? Like, we got a little visitor. What are we going to do? It is kind of nice because you meet the guy and then you meet the penis. Yeah. And, and the two, penis two you've both guys. agreed yeah. is kind of like somebody you both have to deal with. Right. But it's Whereas usually. Whereas the vagina on a woman, we're very like, this is me and take 10 to it. Right. Whereas the penis is like, I don't even know this guy. He's just coming in here. No, see, I think shit. it's a guy that you like, though. It's a guy that comes to the party and you're like, wait till this guy shows up. Oh, and he's that's there a and good he's way like, to look at What's it. going on? And you're like, oh, I'm going to suck it. it. Yeah. I'm going to suck it. And then the Get balls, his two little buddies who are just like, we're here for the hang. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> just hang out. Which one of my balls is longer, left or right? <gasps> quick, 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 right. quick, quick. You're right. It's because you're dominant, right? That's right. Yeah. I don't know why. Are you lefty or righty? My left. So yeah, your left ball's longer. And my, well, I have one. I have a. One, what lip is longer? You got a longer lip. I have a slightly longer right lip. I have a hamburger <laughs> vagina. You know about those? Yeah. There's, there's the IKEA vagina. I call it, which is where what it's is totally it? flat. Porn stars. I've never seen it in real life. Oh right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I call it IKEA because it looks expensive, looks great. but it's cheap. And then there's a hamburger. That's you, yeah, Hamburglar. Yeah, <laughs> that's the Hamburglar. Mm. Yeah. And then there's the, I don't know, I haven't had a name, the ones with the yeah. Inception. Uh, 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 Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy. Where they come out. Or Ren, was that Ren? Ren. Which one had the mouth like this? Ren, right? Oh, they wow. They kind of had those mouths. Wait. No, Ren, Ren. was really skinny. Ren, Ren looked like a vagina, kind of. Yeah. Wow, that's it. That's Stimpy was like a chody penis. Yeah. Right? They tried to bring that back. Somebody said they were trying to bring that back. They and brought I thought, Beavis and Butthead back. The problem is that was such a moment in time. The conversations, mm -hmm. like the 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 vernacular, was such yeah. a, like a perfect moment in time. Now that like their talk, twenty five year old talk, is what that would have been then. But now it's like lit and all that bullshit. And what's the other thing that you say that I hate? 
You say so much stuff. Fire. Like, fire. I hate that yeah. shit. What's the other thing you say? Fire. You say a lot of dumb I shit that I hate. Lot. What's the other stuff I hate? I don't know. I don't know. Do you say everything? He says like a lot Do of like. Do you say Ohio? No. I'm not that young. Have you heard that? Yeah. What the, what the fuck That's is that? That's what like they call Ohio, Riz, Giat, all those. Well, Ohio Riz, is Riz when is... something's lame? I don't know. It's I mean, that would line up. Yeah. Post irony. Post irony? What's post irony? It's the state of comedy that the current Gen Alpha is living in. What's God, Gen Alpha? This is the new kids. They're younger than uh, the Zoomers. Gen Alpha is like 16, 17, oh. right? Yeah. Or 20, around 20? I, I probably like under 18. What is, what would be a, what's irony? Po post post -irony, irony is just like, a, it's like a, it's like Tim a, and Eric? Are they just stealing Tim and Eric? It sounds kind like of. Tim and Eric. That's, that's it's it's even like. further than that, but it's like so, it's just like something that further. shouldn't even be funny at all is funny because there's no inherent meaning to it. Right. An example would be like. Um, the Kill Tony guy who like dances or whatever. The, I don't know who that is. What's that guy's name? No, the the example would be like no Chick Fil A sauce, that girl. What's that? Or there's you, like you know you don't know this girl. Uh -uh. It's like it became she became like a meme on the internet. But you're like it's so kind of boringly unfunny and odd that somehow it became culturally funny and it be, you know what I mean? Like That's, this, right? Like that. This that is, is post irony. It's a deep fried picture of Lord Farquaad with an E, and there's no meaning to it. But, but people the love fact it. there is no meaning to it yeah. makes it deep fried Lord humorous. Farquaad with an E on him. It doesn't mean anything? It means nothing. But it means everything. Yeah. It's it's artistic interpretation. It's like Jackson Pollock. But the, what are comedians sounding like? Oh, my God. No one's going to do comedy anymore. We're okay. done. This is it. Okay. We're, you guys are like how Mark Twain is like a comedy writer. He is. Have you read some of his stuff? Sounds a lot similar to Jordan's stuff. That's right. You and Mark Twain are very, what? very similar. A lot of N-words. Yeah. Really? A lot of N-words. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> That's awesome. I like, here's my problem that I'm finding. This is crazy, but like, you know, Ani Snin, she's like a, she she was a writer, it, whatever. She was so a writer. Are you trying to say Anne Rand? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anne Rand, also a okay. ass bitch. Uh, Ani Snin, Snin yeah. she, basically she just started hanging out with all these like Lower East Side artists and I always read her, she wrote the diaries of Ani Snin and I was always like, this is like an old bitch hanging out with these young artists. Cool artists, yeah. And now my comic friends are getting younger and younger. You're the old bitch. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's because they're, the nuance of the humor is better. Like it's more, it's more like subtle and super imaginative. Whereas our generation is very much like, I'm going to exactly describe why this is funny and how. You know how this is like this because of this? Yeah, that's us. Yeah, right. And right. they're just more like, imagine a guy in a hat doing this. And you're like, oh, that oh, is good. I see yeah, it. And I like <laughs> yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah, it is true. Well, like, how old is uh, how old is he? He's our he's our age. He's our age, yeah. right? Yeah, but he looks young forever. He isn't looks that, young. Isn't forever. that nice? It's really fucked up. That's awesome. Yeah, because I'm gonna be 41 in a month, and it really does. Um... How do you feel? You know, it's so funny. 40 didn't shake me. 41 is like real now. Because you're in it. Yeah, I'm inside of it. 40 was like woo woo. I'm excited for 40s because I feel like 20s you you are you 20, hate yourself. Yeah, and you're trying to be somebody else. 30s, I think you accept yourself, but you fucking hate it. That's where I'm in now, where I'm like, <laughs> I accept this bitch, but I, she sucks. Yeah, correct. And then 40s, I think you might start ex liking yourself. Like, be like, I actually am okay with this. For me, now. it was 20s, you uh, hate yourself. 30s, you hate everyone else. Oh. And then 40s, I hate myself and everyone else. So oh, great. 50s, I'll be gone. Okay, great. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. The 50s, I disappear. That makes sense. No, I don't know. Maybe I'll start doing drag or something fun. Maybe like really switch it up. I used yeah. to go to this drag bar all the time. We really loved it. And I, it's called, I should take you sometime. Are you gay? Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> you have a wife, right? Oh, yeah. I met your wife. I guess. Okay. So you, did the, you wear drag? No, I've never done that. But yeah. I like going to the show and I like singing, so I'm right there. You're right there. I'm right there. I just don't want to wear a dress. Maybe one of these I don't know if they'll have Broadway my size. Guys. You think they'll have my size? I think they will. I think they <laughs> I will know. have more of your size now than normal women. It is funny. To see, it is rad to see like a size 13 heel. Yeah. It's rad. You're it's a like, cool object. Yeah, like at, at Hamburger Mary's, they serve you your check in a drag shoe, in, in a drag heel. And it's like a size thirteen heel. Wow! That's what they put your. That's the that's the check. I like drag. I like. I wish that we were in more of a drag. Drag era. Well, I like. I think like New York Dolls. I think it's punk for men to dress like women sometimes. Yeah. But I don't. It's less punk when now everybody's like, if you're in drag, now you're trans. What See, are we doing? But it's also lost all of its kind of like uh, subculture. Yeah, the subculture's gone, and there's no context, so it's kind of like, what is going on? Yeah. What is that now? Like, what do you think about? We had this discussion yesterday. 
What do you think about guys, just straight guys, regular ass straight guys, paint paint their nails? What, what's your opinion on this? This is like a big thing now. I just had a sex. With, I just had a sex. Just once. <laughs> I had one sex with a man. He who put had it in one. Just nails. like. I'm. Thank you for the sex. I yes. <laughs> He, well, it was actually, we got in, we were in our 30s, so we went hard into it, and then we were like, we need a break, and then we were like, we gotta... You want some water? Yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> um, you had a sex with this man? I had a sex with this man, and he had painted nails, and it depends on the dude. If they are ripped mm. and slightly punk, I will allow it. If they're just... A, what if it's like... If a guy looks like... No, like we're me. not friends anymore. Right. What are you doing? I don't, but I just okay. don't. There is guys doing it, so I'm like, what is this? What is the... What's the meaning of this, I guess? It's just... D decoration I guess I want to be I want to be you know like Arrested Development you know the kids uh, be, kids should neither be seen nor heard you know yeah. that's how I feel I'm always of the like don't be seen or heard just blend into the yeah I've never been a flower this is already a flower yeah I don't need to be a flower everywhere else yeah I don't need a coutrement yeah like when I see a man who leaves the home with a lot of shit on I'm always like man is that exhausting because you have to think about it that's my problem with being a woman is if you don't have a bunch of shit on you people are like you're a what's dyke. going on you're a dyke yeah, where's I'm your like, purse not... where's your rings where's your bracelet where's your necklace where's... it's crazy yeah I don't... see I think simple is better this is good I'm trying simple isn't basic simple is just clean and easy living but now we're in the age of like maximalism where everybody has like huge nails that have toys glued to them. But Women that's have funny. the eyelashes. But that is funny. I do it's like funny. to see that. I, there, was a, there was a TikTok account that I like to watch sometimes and the woman will self do things at home and she- Self do things self -do at home. Self do things at home. <laughs> I do self things at home. <laughs> and she'll make her own nails and she makes, she, she shows you how she does them and it'll be like little danglers off her fingers. Yeah. It's awesome. It is cool. But impossible to use in public. But yes. What you, at some point you have to, what do you, I mean, you've never had long nails. No. I've never seen you with this nails. This is the longest they've been because I haven't been home in a week. Are you a biter? No. No? I'm a cut it down short. Or cut it to where it bleeds? No, but no. short. As short I, as can be. I cut it way too short. But I was short. raised by lesbians. They were always like, you're disgusting if you have long nails. But No, oh, right. They don't want that <laughs> to get in the way. Yeah. You can't. But well... Do you, are there no lipstick lesbians? Is that a is that a is yeah? That a one of my mom's is a lipstick lesbian. Right, so I'm saying that's not like. But they're painted short. Oh, they're painted short yeah. nails. Oh, so they're they're like you little cutesy poochies. If you have long nails, <laughs> people are like you're not a lesbian. You're not real. Really? Yeah. That what you're just a what would be the word? You're like you're you're a stolen valor lesbian. Yeah, you're. Wow. Yeah. Do they call them out? That'd be so funny to watch stolen valor videos of lesbians, girls going up to them being like. If I see a woman who says she's gay and she has long nails, I'm like, I call. I you call, call bullshit. bullshit, and they're like, "Well, I've been single for a while," and I'm like, "Okay," but you can't finger a woman with long nails. You can't do it. Right. That's right. why men and women should be together. <laughs> That's God's way. That's God's That's way. That's why Jesus Christ made dudes with short That's nails. Right. Cause we're supposed to be this way. Yeah. They're supposed to be little flowers. Yeah. And we're supposed to squirt in them flowers. Yeah. I that do think it's cool that women are. Are supposed to be flowers, but our but our genitals are in our body, and they're extremely durable and bleed. And men are supposed to be stoic, but you guys have little soft little balls, soft little, little balls. sensitive balls. <laughs> Unless you're one of these guys, like a, like a Stevo, or these guys that get like kicked in the nuts and ripped in the I, I, like this. Always to me, it's just mental illness. That's, that's wild. Yeah, that's to get, a drug addict to get sober. kicked, punched, pulled, tugged, lit on fire, firework. Like it. To me, I'm get we, we got like we got sent a bunch of these sex toys from this company. <gasps> Did you get the blow? Yeah, auto blow. Have you used it? No. How it's is that? Huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's such a contraption. It looks like a humidifier, but yeah. <laughs> how did you, it has the mouth on it with the ridges and the moves? Too much. You what don't want to just see? Just lugging it around is abs absurd. To it's me. really ridiculous. It's heavy. What am I doing with that thing? The second we got it, I was like, I just want to know what it feels like. And then slide it under the bed afterwards. I feel sad doing that. Don't you that. always want to use it once? No. Because really? I tried years ago. Fleshlight gave us fleshlights at South by Southwest years ago. And I remember everybody was like, did you get this gift bag? And all these comics in the hallway, the, the Hyatt were like, yeah, this is a flashlight in there. And everyone's like, yeah. And everyone <laughs> knew. Everyone was like, you got to try that pretty soon. Is it sick? It, here's the problem with it. After you use it, right? Because you're stoked. It's like, whoa, it's cool. Feels incredible. But then when you're done, you're like, hmm. Yeah. What yeah. am I going to do with this thing? That's how I feel after every time I masturbate. I yeah. have to have oh. sex because of how bad I feel after. <laughs> Well, that's I feel bad after. Breath, welcome to, to our world. Yeah. <laughs> that's we yeah. always feel bad. I mean, for some reason, as I've gotten older, I feel less bad when I jerk off. But when I was young, yeah, the moment you're done as a child, you're just like. <sighs> I still feel that way. I feel gross. I feel like a f a single fat ugly girl. Just now being is like, this? 
Don't come in and see me. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm like, yeah, I feel like it's a sign that you can't have sex if you're masturbating. Well, have you ever seen yourself in the mirror when you masturbate? It's like the sad, it's like the fucking weird, like you look Why so you sad look? and gross. It was a hotel and I turned to the right and then, you know how on the back of the bathroom door has a mirror? So the bathroom door was open and the mirror, and then I like looked to the oh. left and I was like, oh my God. And I look like just like such a fat slovenly, like like go, Slimer from Ghostbusters. I was I was like <laughs> fat Slimer, and there was food next to the. I was like, Ooh. oh my god, dude! I stopped. I like got sad. I was like, fuck it, I'll just take a shower. Really? Because I saw myself. We, we, you look so gross when you're you're like. Yeah, you guys so hate gross. yourselves jerking off. I don't mind men. I think men jerking off is kind of hot because it it, fe it feels like I'm like. You cannot touch this. And they're like, oh, I want to, though. <laughs> but I get, but whenever I have a dude do that, they're always like, this must be so disgusting. I'm like, it's not disgusting. Yeah, but for us, we feel kind of, it, yeah. we know we look, in my mind's eye, like if I'm floating above myself, I'm seeing me, I'm like, gross. I think the speed is jarring to you. Oh. Ah. I think if you guys were going slow and tenderly, you'd be like, but the, when you have to speed up, that's when I notice you guys start getting embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you do rabbit like, teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is. There's nothing comfortable about it. Did you ever mm -hmm. get caught masturbating when you were a kid? No, I did not. I don't masturbate. I almost got caught masturbating on tour. With who? Segura. Tell that story. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like, this is fucked up. Can I tell the story? Yeah, 100%. I was going through, what was it? Oh, yeah, I remember what it was. I was going through a breakup, so that's when I jerk off the most because I'm emo I need a dopamine. You're emotional, yeah. You want the hit. But also, I was like working. I was so I'm was so attracted to Tom's trainer. Have you met him? Tom's trainer. Tom is a trainer with him, and I was like doing push-ups, and he was helping me do these push-ups. And he was hot. He's hot. Yeah. Yeah, he's hot. And I went back to the room, was jerking off, <laughs> and he, they were like, "It's time to go. It's time to go." And I was like, I'm going. And, but it was like, I'm coming. Uh, yeah. I'm and coming. then I left. And then all of them were like, "What were you jerking off?" And I was like. No, no, and I was so red, and it took, I have such intrusive, like, it's so easy for me to be like, yes, I was, but I didn't do it. Yeah, that's him. Oh, yeah, he's a, he kind of looks he's like Bill ripped, Burr. dude, he's ripped. He's like jacked Bill Burr. He also is just, like, large man, and when I'm getting dumped and somebody's, like, a large, safe Did you request? Nice did you ask him if he wanted to fill you up? I did not up? request. I figured that was, it's a little inappropriate. How? You're two adults consenting. What's a, he doesn't work for you. It's just he's a guy you know through another guy. But he's like being paid by. So what? Not by you. That's true. Yeah. All right. Get him in here. That's like if you hooked <laughs> up with McCone. I'd be like, what do I care? I'm paying him. That would be fucked up. Why? Because he's f poor. <laughs> yeah, he wants the money. <laughs> he's poor. I'm more successful oh, than I him. Oh, I get it. I get it. You're saying because because I pay him. It then is almost like, hey, you got to fuck my friend. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But maybe we make them. Okay, great. Come over <laughs> here. <laughs> In here, we pour whiskey. You smell that? Ooh, baby, I know it smells good. I'm sure you've heard about Mando whole body deodorant by now. It's everywhere, and boy, oh boy, it's good. And is it whole body? It is whole body. Tip to tip, my friend. Dermatologist tested and gentle on all your bits, your nibbly bits, your tibbly tips, okay? Uh, I really do love... Uh, Mando, it is really great. My favorite scent, of course, is uh, Mount Fuji in honor of my best friend, Bobby Lee. Uh, they got bourbon leather, uh, pro sport. They got unscented, too, if you don't need that extra scent because you already have your own scent and you smell beautiful. Uh, it's great. No aluminum, uh, no parabens, dye-free, long-lasting. 72-hour odor control is pretty impressive with Mando's whole body deodorant. Confidence boosting, by the way. That's what it does the most. You know you're not going to stink. You're not going to go up to that girl and go, hey, have I seen you around here? And you reek, and you get those skunk lines coming off you like the cartoons when we were kids. It's doctor-developed. It doesn't cause irritation, and it actually smells very, very good, um, unlike you know a lot of other competitive products that are on the market right now. And they've got body wash, a cleansing bar, um, the, uh, the cream tube, the uh, Dio cream tube. It's so good. They have so many things to help you uh, feel good and smell good, and the deodorant wipes, which I use often after I'm running around town. And I'm going into an important meeting or coming to do a pod. I wipe off so I don't stinky, stinky. Can't recommend it enough. It is incredible. Mando Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. I got a discount for you, luckily, to help you get hooked on my favorite smelling whole body deodorant on the market. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack. Use code WHISKEY at shopmando.com. That's shopmando, S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. Hey, guys, intimate moments happen, thankfully, and they spontaneously pop up, and we always want to be ready. 
You know, your sex life is important, but your schedule is busy. You don't got time to go to a doctor's office to get treated for ED. But if you're someone who has ED, no big deal. So do millions and millions and millions of people. All right, you need a boost in the bedroom. Sometimes we all need that. Hims is changing men's health care by providing access to affordable sexual health treatments from the comfort of your couch. Don't got to leave the couch, man. Hims provides access to a range of doctor-trusted ED treatments such as chewable hard mints, proven treatments like Viagra and Cialis, and their generics for up to 95% cheaper. Process is simple and 100% down online. No uncomfortable doctor visits. All right, no insurance is needed. Pay one low price for your treatments, online visits, ongoing shipments, and provider messaging. What else do you need? Hims has hundreds of thousands of Trump subscribers, so if ED is getting you down, it's time to find the option that works for you and gets you up, my friends. It's helped millions of people. Why not help you? You don't got to go to a doctor to figure it all out. Hims has got you covered. Start your free online visit today at hims.com slash whiskey. That's hims.com slash whiskey for your personalized ED treatment options. Hims.com, H-I-M-S dot com slash whiskey. Hims.com slash whiskey. The products mentioned are chewable compounded products which are not approved or verified for safety or effectiveness by the FDA. Prescriptions require an online consultation with other healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Ginger. I like gingers. Dude, I was talking to fucking my, I, because of the breakup, I think it was Francis Ellis. Yeah. John Rednitsky yeah. talking to me. You Both just them, flanked by these two guys? Hanging out with them. Right. And they have the fucking audacity Uh-oh. to say to me, you uh, don't need to be with this guy. You can be with anybody. You're so beautiful and so funny. Well, that's nice. And I said, then pull your penises out <laughs> right now, you pieces of shit. Because then in walks their girlfriends and they're like, eh, like you know, like s- fucking ice sculpture alien women that are like from a different planet. I mean, I'm like, yeah, fuck you. You w- literally <laughs> would not fuck me. They have little Twiggy girl, Twiggy girlfriends. Yeah, they have a completely different yeah. fucking, yeah, they have Mars are girls. Are you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> you have to, I, I have to go, you know, I have yeah. to go by a certain time. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, fuck you guys. That's always what it is. Always my hot guy friends are like, you deserve the world. And I'm like, you? And they're like, I have self I'm bigger than the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm yeah, the yeah, universe. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot more to lose. Well, first of all, nice to get gassed up by friends. Is it? It is nice to is get it? gassed. When you're feeling like shit. When you know that they're... Lying? When you know that they're basically saying you are in a different echelon that I am in. You know what I mean? Like you, like I am talking about a different shelf of liquor here. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, but sometimes that plastic bottle makes its way up to the top. I would prefer somebody to be like, once you get to know you, you're no, the that best. sounds way worse. You're right. That's that, when someone worse. goes like, uh, like when someone's referencing someone that you know in a group, and they're like, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, but I know her. If I, I want them to say, if you, if we weren't friends, I would fuck you. That's all I want to hear. That's that, all I want to hear. That's the only thing you need to hear. If we weren't friends, I would fuck you right now. Because I you don't think the friendship hear, is the break. I, th- I just would like to be tricked that the friendship is the break. Right. I know that it's not. I right. know that they're comedians and you can be a big, fat, disgusting slap hog and go on stage and tell a joke and you get the hottest women being like, he looks tall. And you're like, that's the stage. He's actually quite short. <laughs> All right, go ahead and say it. Who's the biggest fat, gross hog that's got a hot chick? Go ahead and I'm say it. I'm not saying that. Go ahead and say I'm it. I'm not saying go ahead that. And say it, name any guy. <laughs> name, name any comic, and he's fucking the hottest chick ever. I'm trying to think of somebody. Okay, what about co- what about female comics with uh, hot male uh, uh, boyfriends or husbands? Who? This is a comic. This happens. Does it? Feinstein's husband's a babe. The fucking firefighter. Meg. He's a babe. Yeah, but she's like next level hot. She's like. Her tits okay, well, crazy. you asked me to name somebody, and I named somebody. Okay, you're right. Female comics, good ones get, get hot guys. The okay. Bad, the bad ones don't. Allie Wong, she dates babes. I get hot guys, they're just retarded. <laughs> what do you want? You can't have all the... Th- what? I want all of it. No. You're not going to get a hot guy who's intelligent and cool. That's the, you know, really? That's, that's, the tri- that's the triage. E- every guy knows this. The, f- the thing with women, too, is like, you can never get a girl who's super cool... Super hot. What's the other one? And smart. You're not going to get cool, hot, and smart. You get two of the three, always. Really? Always. Cool, hot, smart. You, cool, hot, smart. It's impossible. But this is... Funny? Funny is cool. Funny, funny and cool are... Funny is the same category as cool. Funny, hot, smart. I think I go... I think it's funny, then hot, then smart. No. On what you like the most? I don't know. I think it's smart. Funny has to be tough. I think it's smart because funny is kind of included yeah. with smart. 
Uh, yeah, but you know these smart guys that like go to riff and it biffs hard. Well, 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 the riff biff is not. I don't like that. That's yeah, the riff biff is. Uh, right. By the way, New York is home to some of the worst riff biffs. I got to be honest. Really? With you. There's a lot of riffy biffy guys out there. Yeah. Like, as LA much as they make fun it? of L.A. guys, no, not really, because we don't have a lot of, like, riffy circles. You guys do, like, full act-outs in the green rooms and stuff. Like, no, we don't talk to around. each other in the green rooms. That's insane. We sit on a couch, and we're like, hey, hey. I was just at the green room, and there was a lot of act-outs going on. Well, name who it was, and we'll blank it out. <laughs> it was Rick Glassman. <laughs> oh, oh, the classic Glassy. He's a, yeah, he, that's him. Glassman but and Jeremiah doing a full watermelon stepladder, doing a full improv game. <laughs> <laughs> While the New Yorkers yeah. were, like, Yay. <laughs> Smoking, painting, reading. Yeah. yeah. I saw a girl last night, speaking of which, at the baseball game. We're like behind home plate, amazing seats. And the young girl, 17, 18, whatever, something in around that with her dad. She's reading a book wow. at the game. I was like, man, that's wealth. Yeah. That's wealth. You're reading? She's just a child. She no, she's a high school oh. person. Yeah. Right? Six, 16, what 17. Game? What sports? It's a Dodgers Cubs game. But it's like incredible. I'm like, these are like very nice. Baseball? Yeah. Yeah. That's the most boring sport. No, 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 no. I have watched baseball games. Basketball, I'll watch hockey, I'll watch baseball. Baseball's great. You gotta go though. Baseball live, not baseball TV. I went live. Where'd you go? So boring. Fuck you. I forget where you're brought Boston. You went to a Red Sox game and you didn't have a good time? I don't know if it was Red Sox. The fucking wild dude, the monster. But they weren't. You are. Way, you don't know who the monster is. No, it's so the then wall. You're watching, oh, <laughs> that's the wall. But you don't know who, which guy is good. So you then don't go, know which guy is no. good. No, right. That's your thing. But so basketball, they're all good. They're all amazing. Well, that's because they're all black. Yeah, that's why. I <laughs> that's know. why it's fun to watch. Baseball's got too many whites. Too I've said many. that for years. Get rid of them, please. Yeah. Get them out. Golf. I don't really watch golf and baseball. See, I, that's funny. I golf, and I don't want to watch golf. Yeah. I mean, I will sometimes, but nah. Like go- baseball, they step up, they they strike like a million times, and then when they hit the ball, you were blinking for that one second. You have to be like, oh, 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 you know, oh, where'd it go? You know, and then you can't even find the ball, and then they're like, this guy's moving. I think it's him. No, it's over there. I missed the entire thing. All right. Well, we won't take it. To Basketball, big ass ball, bouncing around, big ass black dudes. Mm-hmm. Court seems dinky compared to that. That was the original name. Dinky. Dink. Uh, it was it was called Dinky Courts. Yeah, yeah. It was called Dinky Courts. That makes sense to me. Big ass black dudes on Dinky Courts. On Dinky Courts. In this hotel, I was just coming out in Chicago. They had the um, the entire team bus, the Dallas Wings, the WNBA Dallas. <clears throat> Fuck. Why can't I think of it? Because I can see it's it. Women's. With the WNBA team that yeah. just arrived in Chicago when I was leaving. Yeah, Dallas Wings. Dallas Wings got They're it. So big. Dude, I got in the elevator. Yeah. And I and and I did this. I want them to like hold a little me. kid thing. <laughs> yeah. I did this like a little kid thing. I go, my God. Yeah, Amazonian women. They're so big and so strong. Yeah, they could just chuck you. And by the way, hot. Good amount of babes. Good amount of babes. Good amount of babes. They could scoop you up by the bottom like a little fucking cherub and just whip you Wouldn't against I the elevator that? wall. It'd be Wouldn't so I love nice. that? Pin me. Oh. If she could lift me up and I could wrap my legs around her waist. <gasps> cute. That'd be so cute. Pin me, I baby. I would love to see that. <laughs> she got out of the elevator. This, these group of girls got out of the elevator, and I was like, Good God. My ignorance is high, but I was like, I don't think the WNBA had this many beautiful women. Yeah. Back in the day, it was kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. But now I was like, oh my god, yeah. All these women were good looking. Every single, every so fit. single one of them was good. Yeah, but they're also like style now. Style matters in yeah. sports because they know they're going to be photographed on the way in, and it's going to be on ESPN and all this shit. So they all want to look dope. Like back in the day, even dudes, nobody gave a fuck what you looked like when you showed up. Yeah. It became a thing when guys were like. I want to look, I want to look cool. Right. But it's also half their job to drink water. Got to drink. And not smoke. Nah, but these like, guys. Have you seen the diet of some of these guys? Have you ever heard some how some of these these NBA players and some of these football players? They're bad. Because they don't give a fuck. They're they're, they're these are specimens. Their body processes everything at a rate that like we couldn't oh. even dream of. They but can the eat McDonald's women are every gonna day. be hot. They're gonna they're gonna have the top line. Game. They all had Chipotle at the hotel waiting really? for them. My hand to God. They literally. I heard her literally go. Did you get Chipotle too? And she goes, Oh my God. Did you get a? What did you get? Did you get a bowl? They all got big bags of Chipotle. That's awesome. Yeah, because they're athletes. They can eat fucking anything. They're also twenty two so years fun. old. That's so fun. I know. Don't you miss being young? Oh, just tearing through a bag. I had a cinnamon roll and I cried on the walk after. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> This is a fucking bummer. I'm it's never crazy. gonna be able to and get rid of this. And you feel so bad the next day. Yeah, and I feel like a dumb guy because I was like, I didn't need to eat it. And I did that thing that my mom does that pisses me off. And I love my mother, but we'll get donuts, you know? Like, I'll go get donuts for the family when I'm home. And she'll take a knife, and she'll cut a sliver of the donut. And she'll oh, eat yeah. it. But then she'll come Zero back calories. in two minutes, another sliver. Yeah. Another sliver. Until the donut's gone. Me eat and the my donut. mom crumble 
This is what we ha- we do in common. We are raccoons. We will take a chocolate chip cookie, crumble all of the chocolate out of like five cookies, and just eat the chocolate. That's our way of like saying we're not eating. You are it. a trash. Person. I know it's crazy. We both do it. My sister would be like, "Both of you have to leave my house. Just go get a bag of semi sweet morsels and can't eat do it. it. Can't do it because then we'd overdo it. You're doing the same thing already. I know. I know. Shame. There's something about the foraging. Of oh, it you like that, it. right? You are trash people. Yeah, we're trash. Me and my mother are trash. We are trash. It is crazy. We're that the is same type. Well, of trash. my mom taught me uh, the the cheeseburger Dunkin' and a, a chocolate shake. That was my. The, I remember being. I was probably Wait, like seven or cheeseburger. eight. Cheeseburger. Yeah, what she would do is she would rip a cheeseburger in half from McDonald's and she'd dunk it in the shake and we'd eat it. I know about Wendy's French fries in the Wendy's. In the frosty. In the frosty. frosty. Yeah, That's it's delicious. Incredible. But have you ever dunked a cheeseburger in a shake? No. You got to do it. I haven't. Be had a fast real fatty. Food. What? In so long. Oh, I did have Taco Bell recently. Mm. Yep, shit, my Doritos brain's out. Doritos those tacos? Horrible. You get those feather shits. Oh, right. <laughs> I call them featherweights. Where they just like, it, no, it's like you shit, and it's the middle of the shit comes out. Mm. And it just, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> and you can't get the shell. You need the shell. Yeah, it's got to be protected. <laughs> it's got to be protected, so you're just shitting these long, yes. Right, the casing's got to be on. The casing is required. Right, I can't hit And just then have... where is the casing? Can we be honest? Like, where is that going to go? Because I just shit out the innards, <laughs> and now the casing's just in there. i got to wait like a week to stack it. <laughs> yeah. It's wait, not... so you're being, you're being such a good girl that you're not having any fast food or anything bad girl stuff? I have... Some Jolly Ranchers. I'll have candy occasionally. Jolly fucking Ranchers. That's like the worst candy. I know. I'm trying to quit the vape, so I'm sucking on Jolly Ranchers. Oh. But well, you zins. picked up the Zinnies. I have to. The vape is making me... It's ruining my life. I wake up... <laughs> Wait, mommy. Wait, mommy. <laughs> mm. You know? <laughs> What's your favorite vape flavor? Mexican mango. Mexican mango. Mm, I love it. It's disgusting. And I'm not... I'm 33 years old. I can't be sucking on a toy that has a rocket ship that lights up. What is a Mexican mango? It's a geek bar. They're geek incredible. bar. Yeah, I do need these. I've seen these before. He Bobby loves those things. Mm-hmm. The geek bars. Mexican mango is your flavor of choice, and it calls your name at night. It does. Come on, he. It will call my name at four a.m. <laughs> yes. I'll wake up. Yeah. You're done. Come you don't on. want a Mexican Orda. mango. Orda. Orda. I am under your pillow. First, you need to look for me with kind of a frantic sort of energy. <laughs> I'm going to hide from you. Now you're going to have to. Oh, I'm, no, I'm not going to stand up out of bed because that would be crazy. Oh, yeah, now you're standing. Now we're shaking the sheets. Your dog is awake. That's good. Oh, you found me. Okay. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me again. Hit me a lot. <laughs> Hit me many times until your dog gets cancer. What I don't understand about them, because all my friends do them, is there is no... The thing I missed about smoking was there was a... Completion? Well, there was a timing ritual to it. Yeah. Well, those things, there's no timing ritual. This is as a timing ritual. I that is a timing ritual. That's why it's yeah. great. Yeah, that's I'm, why I like them. Yeah, but but there's no timing ritual with. Yeah, with so you the, do it the, all day, <laughs> every day. Yeah, see, that's what gets scary to me. It's disgusting, and I wonder how much more uh, you're having. Oh my god! Like, how much more nicotine are you getting out of those? I would love. To, I want to see this research of them going. Here's how much nicotine, more nicotine you're getting because the consumption is higher than if you just put in a Zin or if you, or if you just smoke a cigarette or a cigar. They know this. It's oh, way they're higher. doing the data. I, mm. I want to see it though. I mean, it's these lip higher. pillows, these are going to, I'm sure these are going to come out and be like. These, I talked to the, this one, a friend of mine. Here it goes. Who worked at Reynolds Big Tobacco years like, ago. And I what was is, like. What is this, Joe Rogan? Yeah, yeah. What? And she was, she's a whore. She tried to fuck my boyfriend. But she said <laughs> that these were the going to be the big problem with tobacco. She was like, these are going to fuck the tobacco industry. Yeah, but what are they going to do to us? That's fine. Fuck that. That's a fucking, that's a fucking nicotine patch. I know you think, but the what else is in there? The vape is water vapor, and like you can hear it. Like I can, when I hit the vape, I can hear it. Like, like I'm like I'm hitting like a machine. Right, there's a little guy in there. There's Woo! a guy in there. Yeah, there's a guy in there lighting something on fire, and like, yeah, it's fucked up. Suck it. Yeah, this is just straight. It's like coke on your gums. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it, and it lays so nice. It just lays yeah. in there. It tucks in there. Yeah, real nice. a little Leonard. I'm just Zinner. gonna be hanging out up here yeah. for a little do while. Do you do it? Shut up. You do it. You Shut up. It. Leave you me alone. Take it. a walk. What are you talking great. about? By the way, when you said you're staying in an Airbnb, um, I'm curious, genuinely. Mm-hmm. I've done this before with guys I take on the road. Yeah. But I've I got to do hotels now because I don't think you save any money. I don't. Yeah. And I've just learned I'm starting to get grossed out by the Airbnbs that I've fallen into. I like the Airbnb because I like out. a big fridge. I like to be able to cook. I like to be able to, I don't know. How you want to cook because you're here for a while? I'm here for like three days, which is a That's long time. To me, no. Just do the hotel? I don't know. I feel like I broke it. The money always broke even for me. Yeah. 
It always broke even because Airbnb has a million fucking hidden costs. You think it's another yeah. thing, and then there's a fee, and then a thing, and then a. Uh, I, I, I start. I got. I got tricked one time. I was in f- Tampa, maybe or Tallahassee or whatever, and we got to this place, and me and the guy that I was with, we walked in. It was fucking was disgusting, and then I hit them up, hit up the owner, and then he fought me on it and was like, "Wasn't dirty. We cleaned it last week." Blah blah blah. I was like, mm, "This is fucking gross." Yeah, and uh, then he. Like reluctantly gave my money back, but then also, you know, dinged me on the app side. So then they were like, "Oh, he said you canceled the payment." Blah blah blah. blah. I was like, I don't know if how much money. Yeah, I don't know if I do it again. I was supposed to be here four days, and I was like, four days in my mind was a week between shows. Between, and I was like, okay, I'll do an Airbnb in West Hollywood so I can get around easily. And I have stayed in Airbnbs where I was like, I love this place. It was designed by a woman. Uh, It's in a carriage house. It's adorable. There's a yard. The dog goes in it. But I don't think I will do it again for that reason because I do – I think I got lucky that one time and the rest have been like a, a sad vibe. A little sad. Yeah, a little yeah. sad, sketchy. Also, yeah, design by woman is important. Kind of like when you pick a masseuse if it's like male or female. You know, it should be Airbnb who owns it, male who or owns woman. It. Yeah. I know, and I went with Robert and yeah. he is <clears throat> – yeah. Show me Robert. I thought it was Robert. <laughs> Robert. But he's Robert. Oh, Robert. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Prefer a woman. What do you do – when you get a massage, you get a woman or a man? I get a man because I want them to go harder. See, I find that the women go harder than the men. The women go harder on the men. The women go softer on the women. Uh, the men destroy me. And they're a little rapey, which I like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little weird. See, I like, I, I like the women because they, ha- they, will, they know no bounds. Don't they're you get like, a big heart on them? No. Nah. No? No, never. I've never, done, I've never gotten an erection from... I got close one time. Uh... How is that possible? What because of your mind? You're, t- I mean, I'm so gone, and I yeah. because of my injury, I have so much pain. What's that, your injury? Well, my when I hurt my back years ago, is it still hurt? Yeah, my boyfriend was giving it to me bad. <laughs> really, he racked it up. Yeah, he herniated my he disc. Racked it. You have a herniated disc. Yeah, we all do. Any, yeah, anybody, you all anybody do. over, anybody over forty, you got a disc. Where Actually, is it low? Uh, it's yeah, a low boy. It's like an L three, L four. Oh, I'm sorry about That's it. It's okay. I have scoliosis. I know. I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, your head sits. <laughs> no, but yeah, every time I get a girl, I'm not, boys. I'm not, um, they, they, I'm focused on like the pain relief. Yeah. So no, it's never, it's never sexual. But one time I got bought, uh, um, my wife bought me a, uh, like a double masseuse when we were in Costa Rica, two women at once. And I was like, this is the coolest thing on fucking earth. Yeah. That was a little oddly sexual. Also yeah. Costa Rican women. Because you're imagining Sh- them kind of hooking up. Kind of. Like you're... <laughs> And they're so beautiful. <laughs> Costa Rican women are fucking so beautiful. Yeah. And they and these but they're pr- touching you and you're like, they're being sensual. It's one thing if you're under the hands of somebody and you're like, this is a woman doing their job. But when two women are almost like having playtime, you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're in the middle fr- of the, They brought their friend. They were talking to each other in the middle of it too. I remember this feeling going over to like a dude's house and then br- having like a friend with me. And I remember the, the sexual vibe going up if it was one dude and two of us. What is that? I think it's because you guys are like, oh, I've, it's like a, you've, there's like a space for women. You're like, oh, I'm not going to even do shit, but you guys could do something. Right. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm just here. But if you guys are, but if it's you and them, then you guys get the anxiety where you're like, oh my God, it's me, you know? Yeah, that's interesting that it, it is, it's a big energy shift. I've been, in college, I got approached a, a couple of times for threesomes and I've done the devil's threesome, me and a buddy. Really? Yeah. I had to check out early though. I tabbed out. Did yeah. you? Well, I got what I needed, and I had to get God again. They were talking. Yeah, he, they were he, talking. He, he, he was chatty. That's horrifying. He was doing like, oh, yeah. And I was like, uh, whoa, 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 I whoa, did whoa. a. I got to go. I did a threesome once, but I also did a Molly in the back of a car. Me and my best friend were had our boyfriends there. Uh-huh. And they were like, what if you guys, we get in the back of the car, and you guys suck our dick? And we were like, yeah, we're yeah, on Molly. Of course. Yeah, we're gonna. Completely flaccid penises because of the Molly. <laughs> we were just pulling on taffy. It was so humiliating. <laughs> it was humiliating. But we did not give up. I was quite impressed. And then there, it almost became this like competition of like, my, my boyfriend's a little bit hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> Getting it hard on Molly. Yeah. I mean, drug, drug wiener is just gross wiener. I can't do drugs anymore. Mine retreats. Re- yeah. Whenever totally. I did drugs, my penis was like, no. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, it went inside of itself. Whenever I did, like, when I do mushrooms, my wiener was like, <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. But it wants to be touched. Yeah, but it's interesting. People find there's so much sexuality in getting high. You know, like a lot of times people like to smoke weed and fuck. Yeah. No, I'm the opposite. No, I don't. No, I don't. I do. I don't. My, I don't go through the, when I'm intoxicated, I never get horny. 
Booze, booze, booze. Yeah, booze. but booze is, yeah, but this is just loose. That's, that's uh, why yeah. I had to quit. That's loose juice, yeah. I was, yeah, loose. You were loose juice, yeah. I was loose on Come the on booze. in! It was cr- texting, come on over. Come on over. Yeah. Now, how long have you been off the sauce? I, like, have been on and off for years, but I, like, you know, the last time I drank, I went to Rome and had a glass of wine, and so, so probably, like, two years besides that. But is it like you go to Rome, have a glass of wine, you control it, or is it like you go to Rome, have no, a glass I of do, wine? No, I'm not an alcoholic. Right. I just am a loosey goose. I'll drink it and get sad and like miss my dead father and want to have sex with your dead father. With yeah. my dead father. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm like, why am I doing this? I already feel like this sometimes. Yeah, being sad off booze is the worst. I don't get. I'm like, if but if you give me coke, we're hey, having, hey. I don't do it anymore because I love it so much. But like, that's what I would be. Addicted we're gonna to. build something. Is Adderall, Coke? Yeah. Because I run sleepy, so you give me a downer, I'm sleep. Yeah. But see, I you, run high. Oh, so you like the booze? Yeah, depressants no, are great. Real. Yeah. Oh, that's great. No, no, I run low. But they're bad for me because yeah. my, my peaks, my spikes are insane. So my highs are high, my lows are low. When I'm tired and I'm hungover and I'm traveling and I'm bummed, and uh, yeah. my lows are just like, go away. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? My that's highs how are... being a comic is, though. It really, I don't, people don't get that it's like, you're like, there's one hour tonight where I get to feel amazing, and the rest is like the color beige everywhere. <laughs> and by the, and it's old, and it's the hum of a fluorescent light. Yeah. And it's a and it's a very like ugly bathroom with a shower in it. And it's niceties checking into the hotel, nicety getting into the get, 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 niceties, getting into the club. Niceties, hi, niceties, hi, niceties. hi, hi. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you guys? It's and not you nine to five where you're like I'm doing my work. You know, right. it's like right. You get to show up to an office, and I'm not bitching. Yeah, it's we're not great. complaining. I'm just we're saying. It is funny that we do, you, we, you often have to do, you always have to do the nice thing and the right thing, because then you don't want someone to go, what the fuck is her deal? Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm just, no, Jake I'm was just saying literally with anxiety day, thinking about going on stage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Jake was saying the other day, he was like, I feel, because the other day I was going through breakup, breakup, mm. had to do meet and greet, two mm. hours of comedy, another meet and greet, right? Ah. And then he was like, man, it makes me realize that like when you hear about these clubs, cause clubs will always be like, well, you're way better than this other person that came in. It's like, you have no idea. Like it's, it's hard. so hard to be like, eh, you know, while to you're everybody all the time. Yeah. Hey, 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 it's Hey. Like, and, and I just flew for four hours. I got into the club. You don't have my rider. I'm starving. Starving. I'm pretty hungry. You know? Yeah. Always starving. Yeah. The plain peanuts didn't do it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they didn't do it. You're yes. Right. You're tired. You're hungry. So it's hard to like kick the, le- the, the lethargy and be like, I also have to go work. Yes. I think that's the other thing is that we're doing a fucking gig. But you do hear the horror stories of going to a club and someone's like, you know who fucking fucks? And you're Those like, are my favorite to hear. Yeah, I know. But then you're also like, man, I bet that someone's got to have said that about us. I know. I just, if I'm a just a big old tip and get the fuck out of there. Leave them the money and get out. Leave them the money. Because the out. money makes everybody happy. Yeah, totally. Are you on I've tour started, right now? By the way, are I've you started, touring? Yeah. When am I not touring? When do we stop? You're supposed to stop. When? I think you give yourself a little bit of a break. How long? I just bought a house. I'm gonna work on it. Holy shit! Thank you so much. Where's the house? It's in upstate New York. It's tiny. How far? What town? No, don't say. Yeah, it's outside of Ithaca, in the middle of nowhere. Where Daddy was. I'm gonna hide there. Where daddy was. It's more in the, it's a sweeter part. Less hick. Less hick. It's more of a sweeter part. Two, two bed. Three bed? One. Ooh. It's like a little, it's cottage. a cottage. Love a cottage. It's so cute. One bed, one bath. Yep. A little area for the pup. Yep. Um, Big ass living room, lots of light. Beautiful kitchen. Fireplace. Breakfast nook? Breakfast nook. Gotta have a breakfast nook in a cottage. Have. What is that? Why is that? A woodshed. Me and a cup of coffee in the breakfast nook in the morning. Can you imagine? Get out of town. It's the best. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. He knows. My little favorite nook in my house, genuinely. Oh, the only thing I care about is yeah. my little nook. Because I like to sit in the morning, have coffee, and just sit. It's the best. And I get to stare at nothing, and I really like it. I don't need anything extravagant. I want a little tiny place to drink coffee. I have a studio in New York for that reason. I'm like, I want my studio to be a tight, little, sweet place that I love. Mm. And then I will have a house elsewhere when I have to. Look at you, fancy bitch. Thank you. <laughs> well, she doesn't need your money. Go, don't go see her live. Um, I she's need rich your money. House. No, she needs your money to pay the mortgage. What's your website? You got a website? I'm sure. What is it Punch called? Punch up. Dumbslut.com? Yeah. <laughs> I pay attention to my friends. It's punchup.live slash Jordan Jensen. Punchup.live slash Jordan Jensen. We'll put the link in the description below. Check out RIP Jensen. I want to know what people think about it. Go watch R.I.P. Jensen and let us know what you think about it. Um, go see her on tour. She's wonderful. One of my favorite humans, comedians, friends, um, and uh, harried leg. Uh, downy leg. Downy legs. Tawny. One of my favorite tawny legs. Thank you. Um, go see her live. Uh, we end the show the same way. You look into that camera. 
You say one word or one phrase to end the episode. One word or a phrase whenever you're ready. Cornish game hen on the winkle. God, that's good. Thank you. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.